Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. And I'm covering with you new updates from Germany as Tesla is investing even more money into the German market and it is for the charging network and they are going massively into it because the market will need more superchargers. And if we look into the gray points, you see a lot of new locations that will open this year. And then towards the uh, side of Belgium and Netherlands, as well as down to France, you see as well many. For me in Frankfurt, in the middle, um, you see a lot of gray points here um, around the freeway. So there is a lot of expansion happening and it is very important that it does because Tesla right now has 112 different locations and then you have the um, stalls that they have and they already exceeded 1000 stalls but they have 112 different locations and they are pretty hyped. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of people are mentioning certain locations where Tesla has a brand new supercharger. So that is actually very good branding for Tesla here in Germany. But now they are planning 68 new ones. If we would take an average of 10 stalls, in worst case, I do expect more on average, then it would be another 700 to 800 stalls that Tesla is um, going to install this year alone. And this is for the German market. It is actually a pretty good development. It would be an increase by over 60%. And a lot of them will be ready to go by the first and second quarter. And I think that me personally, I think that Tesla should do the same like in China. They should build on the same location here a new little factory for the superchargers to even further increase the output and installation of superchargers in Europe to further um, cement their position as a leader in charging. So I think that Tesla will do that at some point. Right now they are definitely focusing on the battery factory. But I think at some point Tesla will have to do that because they can further increase, make more revenue, especially by opening the chargers. We have seen that there was a lot of critics. There are still a lot of people that don't like that. But again, guys, we do as well have the regulations when people are parking and blocking places that they have the fees they have to pay. So it's all going to be OK um, by Tesla increasing the capacity here and more possibilities to charge. I think the awareness for the brand Tesla will as well go through the moon. And then with that, more potential customers might decide to buy a Tesla. Then we have the Tesla deliveries for the first month of the quarter in China. We see 19,000 cars. That is pretty good. It is the first quarter. It is not the focus of Tesla to move into um, producing a lot of cars um, in China right now. Right now, the total focus is for export, export, export. A lot of ships are on their way. So that is actually very good. It is a very good result so far. And there are more ships actually already on their way in the Suez Canal. There's one as well coming to Great Britain right now. So we will talk about that in a moment because I have more stuff prepared for you. Despite the success in China, um, we still have to focus on the partnership with Panasonic. So when we talk about the partnership with Panasonic, it has been a um, rough time. It was up and downs in the past. But still, the partnership is holding tight and Tesla is going to tighten it even more because they need Panasonic and they need not only the batteries, the 2170 from this factory here um, for the German market before the 4680 is ready, but they also need Panasonic to speed up with the test production. And that is what has been the news um, in the past two days. Um, that Panasonic is trying to push even further, um, even, even further um, speed up the process of test production and going into production of the 4680 cells because Tesla needs them. And that is the message. They really need the help of Panasonic to even further 
increase the capacity of the 4680, especially if we consider that the Cybertruck and the Semi are in the pipeline, especially the Cybertruck, they need these battery packs. And for the Semi, they certainly want to increase the production rate. So um, therefore, we still have to um, consider Panasonic's and Tesla's partnership as essential. And for Panasonic, by the way, when it comes to the battery segment and the revenue, alone Tesla is making 60% of the total revenue Panasonic does in this section. So it is a very, very important customer and they also do a lot of money with it. So I do expect Tesla um, to not uh, risk the partnership, but to further push um, to get the new batteries as soon as possible. Um, it didn't change anything. Um, the partnership will start in Japan and they will test produce them over there. And then we will hopefully very soon see updates from Panasonic if they have any issues. But I'm actually pretty confident that Panasonic will get information from Tesla in Austin um, about the capabilities and mistakes they have learned about so it can move further ahead um, right away. We see a lot of mega charges down, mega packs down there, and uh, we have seen the mega charges, um, especially Daimler is actually moving as well into mega charges right now in the United States. And as I mentioned, the mega charges will be the next um, evolution of transport when it comes to trucks. Now, moving to Franco Mosato, here we have the first. Model Y coming to Great Britain. That is very good. It is a very good news for all these people watching from um, Great Britain. Congratulations. You get your first Model Y in the next few days um, once they have load uploaded or um, got the sh uh, cars from the ship. And then we have for the European market, I don't know if it's going to go to Piraeus or to Sebrugge. It's not uh, clear yet, but we have the next ship um, gonna go through the Suez Canal very soon, and there are more ships on their way from Shanghai to Europe. And this is um, what we talked about in the beginning. It is the month of deliveries, February. A lot of Germans got notifications. Um, I believe people from Norway watching will definitely get as well notifications and it will be very interesting what the numbers will look like after February. That will be a very strong month for Tesla and I expect nothing else as a great result here and hopefully then as well in this month the final permit in Grünheide. So if you like to watch more EV news in German, you can do that under Evolution and of course my podcast as well in German for a Tessie Supply. You can find me on Spotify and Amazon Music. So thank you and glad to have you here. Bye bye.